Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a pop art style portrait in the style of Andy Warhol. First thing you'll want to do is open up Photopea and click on New Project and retitle it Pop Art. Now we're going to be working in inches, so click on the drop down arrow and click inches and we'll be working on a 10 by 10 canvas at 72 dpi. A white canvas will appear and next we're going to insert our picture. Click on File, Open in Place, and open up a picture that you've downloaded, either of yourself or of a famous celebrity. Now, as we know, pop artists were very inspired by pop culture of the time and often did portraits of famous celebrities. In my case, I'm doing one of my most favorite childhood celebrities, Lizzie McGuire. Click Open and your picture will appear, whether that's of you or of your celebrity. And we're going to drag it and stretch it, holding Shift while you drag so it doesn't warp or distort. Now if your drag buttons are not showing up, click on the Move tool at the top and make sure that Transform Controls is checkboxed off. Then all of your boxes will appear. Next we're going to take away the background and I'm even going to get rid of the extra cartoon Lizzie. So first, right click on the object selection and click on quick selection. Next we're going to select the areas we want to keep. So I'm highlighting the human Lizzie, but once you click a box may appear saying smart object must be rasterized. So go over to your layers panel and right click on your top layer. Uh, if rasterize is not showing up, you may need to click on convert to smart object first and then click rasterize. Next, let's try using your quick selection tool again. So click on your person and hopefully a dotted line will appear around what you want to select. If it doesn't, you may just need to click and drag. Next, we'll take away the background by creating a layer mask. So click on the layer mask button at the bottom and your background will hopefully disappear. Next, click on your layer mask over in the layers panel and we're going to start cleaning up some areas that our quick selection tool may not have gotten very well. So I'm going to be working with the paintbrush tool because we know that layer masks work in black and white. Black conceals and white reveals. Now I accidentally left my quick selection tool on instead of the paintbrush so make sure that you are in the paintbrush tool and not in your quick selection tool. Next, we can just go in and start erasing away and cleaning up all of the areas that our quick selection tool did not get. Now that extra hair part of the cartoon Lizzie I'll get later, but right now I'm just cleaning up around the edges. Next, we're going to turn this into a high contrast black and white picture. So make sure that you are selected on your photo in your layers panel. Then go to layer, new adjustment layer, and click on threshold. This box will appear and we want to find a good balance between too dark and too light. So make sure that you can see all of the features, but it's not too dark and not too blown out. Next, what we're going to do is go back in and fix a few of these areas that we might need to erase. So click on your layer mask and go back in with the paintbrush tool and start erasing using black uh, all of these areas that need to disappear. Next, click on the top layer, the threshold layer, and right click and click on clipping mask. That will come in handy later. Then we're going to click on our picture and drop down the arrow and click on linear burn. That way our picture has become like a coloring book page instead of just a white picture. Then we want to create a new layer underneath our picture and then comes the fun part where we get to start coloring. Again, make sure that new layer is underneath your photograph. Then you get to just start choosing a color. So I'm gonna color her hair first using this bright yellow. We want this to be really poppy and fun and with bright colors. Then is the time where you're gonna start testing it out. Now, if you are coloring and you're coloring on top of the black outline, then that means you missed a step. So go back in the video and rewatch. Uh, but if not, now's the time to just start coloring away. So have fun. Now a good tool to use while you are painting and you want to increase or decrease your brush size instead of having to go up and scale that every single time, simply click on the bracket keys on your keypad to increase or decrease your brush. Now there are a ton of different color combinations that you can do. Look up Andy Warhol for more inspiration. Once you have a color combo that you like, make sure that you save file, save as a PSD, and also export as a JPEG. Once you click on that, make sure your quality is scaled up to 100% and then say save.